it's Rachel and today I'm going to be doing an updated foundation routine. I did one almost a year ago but the products I've used and the methods I use to apply those products have changed. So um, before we jump into that I just wanted to say that if I sound a bit funny today um, or in my next couple videos because I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, I got a palatal expander put in my mouth which if you don't know what that is it's a um, thing that goes in the roof of your mouth and um, it comes with this little key thing and you have to every other day go in and expand it and it's to make your top palette wider um, so that's what I have in my mouth right now and I don't know if you can see it it's like way back there um, but so like on letters where my tongue needs to touch the roof of my mouth it can't because it's stuck from the palto expander so it's causing me to sound a little bit funny um, but other than that let's just jump right in okay so I've got my mirror over here so I, if you see me looking that is because I'm looking at my mirror so I can see what I'm doing and I went ahead and did my eye makeup lately I've been into doing my eye makeup first not my eyebrows but just like my eyeshadow and mascara um just because I don't know I've just been into doing it first lately um however if I have to if I'm doing something where I'm going to put um, mascara or eyeshadow on my lower lash line I will wait to do that after my foundation just because you know I'm trying to put concealer under there um but today I'm not going to put anything under there I'm going to start by using the Maybelline baby skin um instant pore eraser like primer I think this is supposed to be like the benefit professional um but i'm gonna start by using this all over my face and i don't really like the way this i like the way it feels on my face but i don't like the way it feels on my fingers because i feel like i can't get it off um so i try to only use two fingers because i don't really like how it feels now i'm going to take the covergirl um three in one foundation in the shade 832 and i love this foundation a lot this is my second bottle and I switch off lately I have been switching off between the Sigma F82 flat top kabuki yeah, I sound so weird with this thing in my mouth um, and my beauty blender and I actually forgot to mention in my New York haul that I got a new beauty blender I have another one too which is still good but um, I just got another one because they get dirty so fast so this one I haven't used it and it's so bright and pink um, kind of like my headband ish but today this brush is dirty so I'm going to be using my beauty blender so I'm just going to take about two pumps of this on the back of my hand I normally start with around two pumps and just start bouncing it into my skin and I need a little bit more foundation so I'm just going to squirt about half a pump so now moving on to concealer lately I've been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is an NW20 and I really really like this so I just take some on my finger and then just place it on my face where I need it, but I'm not going to blend it yet. I don't really have a lot of um, blemishes, so to speak, but I have um, scarring. And, you know, it doesn't stick out too much, but, you know, to me, because it's on my face and I see it every day, it sticks out more to me than, you know, to just anybody. So I do kind of put a lot of concealer to try and cover up my scarring that I have from previous blemishes and whatever. So then I'm going to take the Sigma F86 brush, which is the Taper Kabuki one, and blend all this out. I love this brush for blending concealer. It just works so good for me. And it's really good for under the eyes. So now we have that all blended in. And now I'm going to take my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzing makeup and I'm going to take this with a Sigma um, F84 brush which is the angled round kabuki and I'm going to swirl my brush in here and like contour my face where I would put powder bronzer. So I do my cheekbones, my temple area, and like my forehead, and I do my nose a little bit. And do a little bit under my lip. And then I don't know why I just tapped it off. It's kind of weird. Just have it for my normal bronzer. 
Um, and then under my... Why do I keep tapping on this? Like, nothing's going to come off. <laughs> under my jawline. So, that's that. Now I feel, like, slightly alive that I have now that I have some color on my face. Um, and now I'm going to take a powder to set everything. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder in number 16. And I'm going to take it on this Royal Nagnical Kabuki brush. I'm just going to start powdering my face. And this stuff makes your skin feel so smooth. I love it. Okay, so that is powder. I love this powder. I highly recommend that you try it. So now I'm going to go back with my normal powder bronzer and kind of go over where I contoured before. So I'm just taking my Benefit Hula Bronzer and um, the Sigma F05 brush, which is just a little contour brush. And... Just kind of go back over that lightly. Now for blush, my blush changes on a day-to-day -day basis, um, but one that is probably the most common one is NARS Orgasm, so it's this one right here, sorry to blind you. Um, so I'm going to take my MAC um, 168, I think that's what it's called, the number kind of rubbed off, I'm pretty sure it's the 168 um, blush brush, and I'm going to pick up orgasm and put on my cheeks and I like to work from the back forward and I don't normally bring it all the way in um so I do a little bit like I like to kind of have it like fade in I don't know if that makes sense okay so that is blush and now for a highlight I'm going to be using this NARS highlighter in here this one and I'm not sure the name of this, but I love this highlighter so much. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's so pretty. Um, and it's definitely the highlighter I use on, like, a regular basis. It's just gorgeous. It just gives you the most beautiful glow. Um, so for that, I'm going to use the Sigma F35, which is the highlighter brush. And this brush is so soft, so I just go on the tips of my cheekbones and kind of bring it up in like a C. And then I do a little bit in the center of my forehead, down my nose, a little bit on the tip of my chin, and then I take some on my finger and do my cupid's bow. Kind of makes you look like you have a milk mustache until you um, put on your lip product. <laughs> so that's basically my whole foundation routine. And I am going to show you the color I've been using, using recently to fill in my eyebrows. I have an eyebrow routine, which is the same as what I do now. But since I dyed my hair lighter, I've been using a different color. So I'm just going to show you the color I have been um, using. And it's from the Naked Basics palette. And it's the Naked 2 color. Um, that is what I have been using. Um, so I am going to fill my eyebrows and then I will be back. Okay, so that is my updated foundation routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you have not already. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.